Okay, a very good morning to you from myself, Nigel Davis. Welcome to the Genting Arena here at the NEC for Crofts 2018. Well, what a run I've got to commentate on now. I've got the Kennel Club Novice Cup final. This is a jumping run. And our judge today here on World Ladies' Day. Jackie's coming specifically here. She's local as well. She hasn't had travel so far. Travel far. Jackie, our judge, is now going to make her way into the rear. Put your hands together, please, to Jackie Gardner. Thank you, Jackie. Right, so our first competitor in, in the British Open Large, is Helen Anderson, working Neo Border Collie. Made the way up from the hometown of Norwich. Any Scottish in yet today? Good morning, nice to see you all. Thanks for supporting us again. So a nice testing course in my jockey. So the first up's going to be in the tyre. Nice twisted start across the first three obstacles. Across the IAMS, quite a change of body direction there. We had a look, but we're all right. We're okay. We had a look at that tunnel, but we avoided it, but now we're going for it. Into number seven, cross to number eight, pulling the dog through now into the middle of the arena. Over to uh, Ted here at IAMS, and we're into the week. Great weave entry, super weave entry, pulling the dog away from the large white obstacle there into the corner. The rigid tunnel. We're coming round for the long jump. Can we have our first run being a first clear? I don't want to say too much. Into 17. Come on, round to 18. We've got another two to go. A little bit of a tight turn and across the finishing line. Yes! 38.62 in a clear round. Superb run from Helen and Neo. So, our next competitor in, we've got Lucy Hinchley with Pixie, Border Collie, seven years of age. Pixie's amazing, talented partner with great attitude, although she can be wild. I try and read these out as quick as I can because I know you like to know a little bit about the dogs. She recently featured on CBBC. Now, I'm not sure whether that's Lucy or Pixie. So she's not phased by cameras. In fact, she rather likes being in the limelight. A bit like me, really. I like being in the limelight as well. Shouldn't we all be in the limelight? So, around three to four. A little bit wide on the turn, they're going towards three. Across the middle now, around towards that rigid tunnel down nearest the bottom end by the commentary point. Over eight, pulls the dog around for nine, cross to the eye and straight up to the wheeze. No problem there with that tunnel in the corner on the right hand side. So, cross now towards the rigid tunnel, into the rigid tunnel number 14, the long jump coming up. We're swinging now towards this rigid tunnel, we could be on a double clear, you never know. Have I spoke too soon? Hopefully not. Over the eye we want to go. Whoa! 37.34 for Lucy. Dixie. So, we've got the Anna Bray Frank Club in this morning. They haven't made it, they're stuck on the M6 like I was earlier on. There you go, next in Alan Bray, working in Indiana. Border Collie, 10 years of age. So, I remember the early days of being in the 80s, and I was there on, on the food and say with me. Unfortunately, I just I stopped competing and Alan carried on. Okay. But he's doing very well, always has done. Great actor and a great personality in the agility world as well. So, working away now towards the rigid tunnel in between the two hurdles, across to number eight, pulling around to nine, up to the irons, into the weeds, beautiful entry again. No problem there with the weeds. Back into that tunnel, the far end now. We've done one, we've done two. Now we've done the third, come on Alan. 18 with two to go, it's gone quiet in the arena and over the finishing line, yes! 39.76. Don't forget this is a two part competition, so in an ideal world they were a nice clear this morning. Ready for later on with the agility run. Next in, Mark Rabada Guark. I'm sorry if I pronounced your name wrong, I do apologise. Working in Renoa, Border Collie, seven and a half years of age. This is quick. <laughs> Ooh, well held, well held. Now we're doing the trouble. Nice Merle. First dog I ever have as a Merle. Absolute manic. Reminds me slightly of what mine was like. Took me ages to get the right one. You get it right, it's well worth it. So, coming across now into that rigid tunnel, far corner, number 14, a bit of verbal as well there. From the dog and the handler. This is looking nice. Coming around now with number 18. 
Nicely handled again. Two to go. Come on. Over the line. Yes. 38.51. Super run. Okay, I so say I do apologise about pronunciation of names. Journey is next to Neela, Border Collie. Fourth time, four time okay. AWC participant. Uh, individual bronze medals, three individual WAO gold medals. So I'm shooting away. Uh, I remember I just seen it here last year. Both very athletic. Very quick, no way to put the pace in the hand, but he's put the pace to pick the dog up, beautifully handled, superb, coming around towards those weaves, no problem again with that tunnel, but one of the dogs from where I'm standing has not had a look at it yet, 13 now, into the tunnel, number 14, coming around to the long jump, we're over the long jump, we're coming across now to the rigid tunnel, we're coming around to 18, there's 18, oh, that little bit of wonder pass just picked up a refusal there, five faults, and a roll pole as well. Just lost the concentration. Unlucky there. The junior kneeling. We'll see them later on, I'm sure. So there's five volts on that. Five volts on that the last run. So next in, here we go. We have Alan Smith working chilly border collie, nine and a quarter years of age. I like it when people are precise with the age. Nine and a quarter. So Alan Chili. Started off on the tyre. Here we go. Rapid bit of movement there from Alan. Gave himself across to where he wanted to be. Ooh, we had a look. We did have a look at that tunnel, but we're all right. We're flowing nicely now into the tunnel. Bit of lane work there for Alan. Should he have no problem whatsoever there? So, number 10, up to the weeds. Great move entry again. Across the middle of the arena now, coming around 13 into the rigid tunnel, far corner, coming around there to the long jump. And the long jump's taken nicely now towards the tunnel, we're having a look at that jump, but we're okay. We're okay, one hand. Switches round for 18, come on Alan, come on Chile. And across the finishing line, in 40.48, superb run. Oh, I'm enjoying this one. You enjoyed this one as well? Oh, is that it? Are you enjoying this one as well? Thank you very much. On we go, our seventh competitor is Oliver, working sneak, keen, border collie, six years of age. So a little bit of creep there, a little bit of creep there towards the time that we're all right. Over the iron, switching through to the gap of two hurdles there, plus number eight. And he's miles ahead there, going towards it. Into the weeds, gives him quick. Bit of right hand hand direction there, pointed towards the weeds, and we picked him up, no problem whatsoever. Over 13, it's been good so far, so it's not been unlucky. Now, working away towards that rigid tunnel again. We had a quick look, but we're all right. We're coming around for 18 again. This is running really nice, this course. I like this one. Over the finishing line, 36.313. Superb time. Eight to go, Matthew Goodliff with Quincy, Border Collie, agility champion as well. Okay. Next year we've got Chris working Aussie, Kelby, seven years of age. Uh, tells us Aussie comes out of very, every run thinking that he's won. I like the idea of that. And it's very willful, but we'll always try hard. <laughs> Nicely handled again. All the different, oh, we've gone around the far side, but it still worked. Might have lost a little bit of time, but there again, you might have so working across now to number 10, which we've done, the iron hurdle, we're into the weeds, nice steady set of weeds. Just picking the pace up now towards 13, we're over 13, we're into the rigid tunnel. Long jump, no pop at all, nicely handled again, swap inside, we're into the rigid tunnel, he's staying there to pull the dog around with him. Beautifully handled again, rapid changeover, and across the finishing line, whoa! 38.945. 
Apologies for that, I just literally go to the commentary sheets and then Fortune Matthew isn't even. I didn't know that. I just didn't think it was. On we go, we're on to Joe Philippe now. Scooter, Border Collie, four years of age. Scooter, that's his Scooter's second year of trust. She's super keen for agility and loves to crowd and cheer her on. So don't be afraid to uh, cheer on this one. She's small but keeps up for an attitude and will do her very best. As you can see her verbal dog. Get something complete enjoyment of doing what they're doing, they get all fired up and they show off by barking and obviously competing for the best of you as well. So Joe up to do plenty of verbal as well. So the scooter knows that uh, needs to scoot literally around the course. Cross 13, they're taking up quite wide on the right hand side of the turn. No worries so far, a bit of scooter there going around that corner. That was a good wide turn. Round to 18, we've got, oh, roll the pole, one to go, come on Scooter, yes, 36.448, great time with five points. Next up we've got Junie again, Princess Alia, Princess Alia working at Border Collie, two years of age, winner of the 2017 KCI Festival, that's the International Festival, which the Kennel Club hold every year in the UK, I think that's in August if I recollect. So if you are new to agility, you're watching this, you're getting in, what's going on here? Have a look at the Kennel Club website, all the cross pages as well, also gives you information on how to start, where to go, people to contact and so on. You could be pretty well away every weekend of the year competing. It's around the UK at this. And at the moment, these two are at a traffic run. I'm always a bit cool to try to say sometimes because there is a thing called commentator's curse, but when you're in tunnels, you're alright. So, coming down towards this bottom tunnel nearest the commentary point by me, and we've got three to go. Bit of a wide turn, lost a little bit of time there. We've got one to go. Ooh, yes! 37.132. Great run again. So, you don't forget two part competition. This is the two part competition. So, later on this afternoon. Might be this morning, I'm going to lose track of time sometimes here at Croft. But later on today we've got the agility round. And those two will be combined to give us our overall winners. So we started off with the large dogs, we're now onto the medium sized dogs. So if you, again, if you're new to any all competes at their levels, that's our, uh, the levels they need to be for the height of the dog. So small dogs, medium dogs, large dogs. Also got Flyball on today, if you like Flyball, if you've never seen Flyball, that's on this afternoon as well. It's the quarter final this afternoon, as I recollect. There'll be plenty of noise going on later on. I'm sure the two coach modes from Scotland will have joined us by then, so there'll be even more noise from Scottish handlers and followers. So, I'm just finally checking that. This is we've got a new tyre now in the agility world. It's not a rigid tyre, it actually parks at the top of the bottom. So the dog should make contact with it. It will actually pass and uh, should not injure the dog. And I think that a great, uh, a great difference that we've had in years gone by. I remember the days of chain tyres on the day. Must admit they caused a lot of hassle for a lot of people. But we're ready to go. Rob's giving me the thumbs up. Rob's our time, he's at the top there. As you can see, we've got Electronic and Rob as well doing a manual just in case. So, first of the mediums to go, Nick Kirkett with Ballet. Border Collie, eight years of age, first time at Crufts. Uh, very proud of getting this thing, getting here. Looking forward to running on the green carpet and giving it all for some special people. There's some special people following them, obviously. Another bell. Nice, steady flowing moves at the moment. Good time. Look at the wraparound turn on that wing. Beautiful. So it might be deceiving sometimes. You look at a dog and it's going slowly, but it can make that time up on that turn around that wing. It's not going wide. It will literally wrap itself around the eye house wing. So we're into the rigid tunnel on the far end. We're coming down towards the other rigid tunnel. We had a quick look, but we're all right. We're all right. Nick doing okay. We're coming around for 18. Quick look again. Come on, Nick. Two to go. One to go. Oh, roll the pole. One lucky there. Five volts for Nick and Barry. 38 5. Not bad. Next thing we've got Hayley Telling. Hayley's working Teal, Shepherd Sheep Dog, four years of age, another agility champion. So, just line the dog up. She's doing a good recall distance, as you can see, from the dog to the tire. So, the dog in a different place, a bit of a hop and a skip there as well. As we came across, a bit of verbal air from Hayley, just keeping Teal. Where she wants to be. 
into the top. Our legs are working, and the dogs are as well. Nice sweeping turn, beautifully handled again. Swap inside from left to right, into the weaves. Rapid one up to those weaves. Plenty of verbal still there from Teal. We're into the rigid tunnel, number 14, but coming around with his long jump. Over the long jump, now down towards the rigid tunnel. Quick look at the arm, we're okay. We're going to pull the dog out, we're going to swap sides, we're coming around to the IAMs, we've got one to go. Yes, 37.239 for Haley and Teal. Okay, so next to go in the mediums, Stefan Nagel working Annie Pyrene and Sheep Dog 3 years of age. He's an agility judge, agility ladies and counselor in the Regional Dog Association. He's been doing agility since 2002 with an Australian Shepherd. I wouldn't tell you more, but I want to watch the dog go. Nice to see the Pyrenees competing. There's a lot of breeds out there that don't compete as well as we want. There you go. So, a nice flowing run at the moment, round to number nine. We're working away up towards the weeds now. We're into the weeds, no problem at all. Good skipping motion down through the weeds, round to number 13. Up to the rigid tunnel, probably pick the speed up a little bit now as we're going round now towards this rigid tunnel. And we're into the tunnel entrance, no problem at all. So we've just got to get this on the right side. We have, we've picked the dog up, we've swapped sides nicely, we're coming round, we want to go, come on! 43.33. Super run there for Stefan and Annie. So next to go Jurgen with Aon Shepherd Sheep Dog, nine years of age. Uh, Lives in the Netherlands. You can see Aon's and Shelty, nine years of age. Very happy that they're at Crofts. So he's a very nice dog, always wants to work and very enthusiastic. I like Shepherds, I must have been. Great coat on as well. Just roll the pole now, number three. So five at the moment. We're just looking, don't forget, for the, uh, the idea world, the double elimination. You probably won't be in the final end of that. If you've got five, for instance, in this, then it could be a one. You never know. So, flowing nicely through those weaves. Round to the eye observed, up towards that rigid tunnel in the far corner again. Long jump, a bit of a blast now towards the tunnel. Lucas legs going down there, getting the dog motivated again round for number 18. We've got three to go. We're on five at the moment, I think we some fox possible for time's unlucky there, but well done. Great run for the two of you. Next in, Abigail Doxford, working Whitfield, working Cocker Spaniel, seven years of age. Rescue working Cocker Dan. This is can be a bit of a handful sometimes. A very fun dog, loves big crowds, really enjoys craft. It's his second year here. And she's going to enjoy herself. They're both going to enjoy themselves. That's what it's all about. Again, working coppers. You get these right. They are rapid. Just a little bit of time there. Just a little bit of time there as we went around. Two, three, and four. Now that pace is picking up. We've got a bit of bling on as well. And up towards the weaves. Super weave entry again. Beautifully done. We'll quick look at the obstacle number two there, but we're all right. Sweeping turn there around from 12 to 13 to that rigid tunnel. This is looking good. Into the rigid tunnel. We're in the right end. There you go. Abigail hanging back there, picking the dog at 18. Swapping sides around. We want to go. Come on. Yes. Abigail and Whitfield. 38. 38.749. Super run. Here he is. Locally, here she is. A local lady, Nicola Garrett. Working Z. Shannon Sheepdogs, uh, second club they've been here now and uh, represented the UK in three international events. 2017, won a gold medal at the WAO event in the Netherlands last year. So, as you can see, we're in a starting position there with a bottom in the air. A little bit more leverage as we take off, maybe, I don't know. Possibly, a bit like an athlete, I suppose. What do I have to do? What if this train had a lot of exercise come back? It doesn't make the difference because I have to give it how the dogs do stuff and stuff goes from lying down and sort of sitting. Some on the move. So at the moment, working way up towards the weeds. What a game! Looking in there as well. Nice steady set of weeds. Coming around at number 13. Far corner now. Pace going to pick up now as we come towards this light of this rigid tunnel down nearest to me. We're having a quick look at Nick. Lost a little bit of time there because the dog was concentrating on where he was going. Oh my word! A little bit of wheel spin there. Handbrake went on. And we're over the finishing line in 40.87. That's for Nick and uh, Z. 
Uh, next to me should have Laura Staplehurst working healthy, 80 years of age.